Hi Cancer, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for July 22nd through the 28th. This is for Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is just a message from my guides to you, okay? So this will not be like anybody else's reading. This is just a, you know, a reading from my guides, okay? Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're just going to see what comes up July 22nd through the 28th. We use one of these, one of these, one of these, and then we're going to use this deck. And you should be watching this on Soul Source Tarot. So let's get started. Cancer. The storm is over. Okay, the storm is over. Things are about to get better for you. Sun's starting to come out. You're probably feeling more free. Things are starting to look up. You're probably feeling more appreciated. You are being more appreciated. People are appreciating your kindness. Appreciating your beauty. Appreciating you for who you are. You may have found a new appreciation for yourself. Cancer. You may be appreciating, you know, somebody in your life that took care of you. You know, there's a newfound appreciation here. Whether it's for you or it's a f for another person, it's newfound, okay? There's been a time of reevaluation and there's a newfound appreciation, okay? That's six reevaluation. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. So you may be coming together with somebody who really appreciates you. Let's get one of these. You've already met the romantic partner you see. Cancer, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What do we have? Crossing bridges. It's time for healing, connecting, mending, and releasing. You guys are crossing a new bridge. You are. Right into a new phase of life. Well, let me go ahead and read this. You may be actually crossing a bridge to connect with somebody that is the one. Crossing bridges is a way to let go of the past and begin a new cycle in life. A heartfelt change is ahead. It's time for healing old wounds with people and situations. It's time to forgive and let go of the past. Do whatever you need to do to make amends and then let it all go. If there is anything unresolved in your life, take steps to resolve and reconcile. You may even need to burn your bridges behind you. Heal the rifts within yourself. Help others traverse bridges in their lives. When the traveler crosses a bridge, a, la a new land awaits on the other side. You are ready to cross a bridge or bridge a gap in your life. There are times to step away from certain people and situations. There are also times to carefully mend bridges with people, situations, and places. Then go forward. This is one of the most powerful healing times to choose. Maybe there's a wound inside of you that needs to be forgiven or accepted. Transform the inner grievance. Forgive. Let it go. Do it now. You are no you no longer need to carry it with you. Perhaps there is a person from your past with whom you should reconnect or release. The choice is yours. You know what you need to do. This is the time to do it. This could be the one. You know what you got to do. I don't even need to go any further. Because you know what you got to do. You can't hold the grudge anymore. You need to either, you need to basically bring closure to a situation. You can't just drop it. You can't just bury it. You can't hide from it anymore. It needs to be dealt with. Either if you don't fix it, you're going to suffer. 
whether whether you say you're sorry if that's what you need to do or you whatever needs to happen to forgive to release or you go back to reconnect I don't know whatever the choice is it's time for healing connecting mending and releasing it's time to cross that bridge you can't bury it anymore no more only the strongest people with the most integrity can find their strength to apologize or to follow their heart or to do the right thing even if it hurts but a weak person cannot cancer what do we have for cancer they've already met the romantic partner they seek maybe maybe you got to you got to heal something Knight of Cups, this is romance, relationship, an offer of love, compassion, oh, lack of closure. I knew it too. You guys need closure. You haven't, there's unfinished business here. That is unfinished business. Somebody needs to bring closure to a situation. They have to. And if you're pointing the finger at the other person, you're wrong. That's not what this is. This has to do with you. Not the other person. You have to do something. The moment you blame somebody else, you are not taking ownership. Eight of coins. Not putting in effort. Not, not working hard enough. Somebody may have given up prematurely. Didn't want, to, didn't want to work on it. Now here's the truth. This is truthful, honest communication. Oh, master your emotions. Get in the driver's seat and go. Go. Take that road. Cross that bridge. Go do what you have to do to heal. Even if it hurts. Even if it means facing opposition. Even if it means getting rejected. Whatever the case is, you do your part. And don't be pointing the finger at the other person. That's the biggest mistake that you can make. This is mastering your emotions. Getting in that driver's seat. Communicating the truth. Communicating your honest truth. Taking the power in your own hands after not putting in effort, after giving up. This is a feeling of emptiness, incomplete. Somebody hasn't learned their lesson yet, but this is an offer of love and compassion. The star, lack of wish fulfillment, lack of faith. Despair, somebody has been living in despair because they've been holding on to some sort of grudge. Three of Wands, get prepared. It's time. The time has come. Looking back, there's been betrayal, there's been deception, there's been lies. There's been confusion. Somebody made a poor decision. Somebody made a poor decision and chose something that was unrealistic. Chose something that looked good. Right? It looked good, but it wasn't good. Somebody has been living in fantasy land. Trying to escape. Trying to escape reality. But it's a reality check. We have a wake up call here. We have a reality check here. Seven, seven, seven. Seven, seven, seven. Seven, seven, seven. This is the sevens are about heaven. Seven is a number from heaven. It's about faith. Have faith. Have faith. 
You have options. You have a choice here. You can choose to be honest and truthful. You can choose to communicate your truth. You can choose to take your power back. You can choose to do whatever you want. Or you can choose to lie. You can choose to be deceptive. You can choose to just sit and watch somebody get into another relationship. You can watch, you can, you can sit and watch some, your, your wishes be washed down the drain. You can sit and watch, you can watch, you can watch somebody get involved with something else and your wishes float away. Or you can take action to bring success. You can, you can do what you got to do. There's a lack of wish fulfillment here because we have somebody here that is feeling incomplete because they have let something go without closure. They didn't put in effort. They, they, they cheated or they lied or they deceived or they were sneaky or they were shady. They, they, but they want to go back. They want to go back and they've been getting prepared. They've been waiting and they've been waiting and waiting for that right time. And this person still isn't taking any action. Meanwhile, this person is waiting for another relationship. Move, get moving the chariot with the six of swords. It's time to face your fears. Get to the other side of that bridge. It's time. It's time to travel. in a new direction. It is time. It's time. It's time to face your fears and to have faith. Sevens are about faith. You need to replace that fear with faith. So Cancer, I feel like you know who I'm talking about. And you have this newfound appreciation for this person and it's time to heal the connection. And I think the ball is in your court. It's time to go. Good luck.